So what we're looking at here is we've got all our pieces. Um, now, so we've actually ended up with, sorry, one piece at 350, two pieces at 340, and two pieces at 275. Now, when we're setting these pieces up, it's not as easy as just whack them together and build. It actually needs to be a bit of intent. And so when we're doing this, we need to make sure, first of all, that our pieces don't have any big marks out of them. So this one's got a dent there, so I'm gonna flip this one over. And if you look at it now, what you can notice is there's no dents, all the pieces are happy. I like the grainage of everything. It's very nice and pretty. That might be a little bit nicer. Um, and finally we wanna come and we wanna look at the growth rings. Because the growth rings are gonna dictate and determine how this timber moves throughout time. Because even after it's glued together, the timber still moves. And if you've got a pattern where all the growth rings we have in here, yep, they're all going the same way, you're gonna get a bit of an arch occurring. So it's gonna kinda curve up and create this almost. They're gonna just like slightly swell a bit more and arch down and it'll happen. And it's gonna cause a huge issue when you go to stick your piece here because all of a sudden, that's not gonna hold. All of a sudden, because this has started to arch, it's gonna be off and it's not gonna sit properly. So we need to make sure that it's correctly done the first time. So after you've got your pieces, we need to set up this one, two, three, we can't have that. So look, I'm gonna flip this one around so that it goes down, over, I need to flip this one over, under, over, and then that's all right because that's going over and that's going to continue. Oops, so we'll flip that over like so. And so this is what our top's meant to look like. Under, over, under, over, under. And it should be good like that. The next thing we need to go through and do is we need to mark them up now that we've got them facing the right way that we want them. And I'm actually gonna just pick my whole lot up and I'm gonna spin them just so you can still see the measurements. And when we do this, we need to make sure that our measurements are lined up. So there's 10 mils between the, these two, the beast and the smallest. And since we need this one to be sitting central in there, we're gonna measure that and mark down five millimeters. Five and five. Then we can bring this piece down. Now there's a difference of, what's that? 40, 65 millimeters there. So we're gonna come down 22, 22 and a half millimeters, 22 will do. We come down 22 millimeters. And then that's gonna sit there like that. Finally, we're gonna move these up. I did that wrong, it's meant to be 32. And that's fine, like 22, as long as you catch those mistakes and you're looking for them, making simple mistakes like that is an issue because I'm looking to make sure that I haven't miscalculated something. We finally got our pieces and we're getting ready to glue. Now before you glue, you wanna make sure you have everything set. So you got three clamps, one, two, three. You got a glue catcher underneath, which is one of the green aprons or an orange apron. They're just not our new ones that we're using. They're the older aprons that are in the storeroom. Come and see me and I'll grab one for you. And they go underneath the piece to catch everything. Alrighty. Next video, we're going to go through the glue up.